looks like we're in business. As always, it is great uh, to have you here with me, whether you're watching this live or you're watching the recording. If you haven't done so already, which you probably have, go ahead and click the follow button. Please share this uh, with your friends and with your family or with people that you know that want to improve their speech, people that stutter, stammer, or people that just want to be able to communicate more clearly. People um, generally who have English as a second language or some people that just can't seem to say what they want to say when they want to say it. That is, they're very intelligent, they have the ideas, they have the information and knowledge, but it just doesn't come out when they're in certain high-pressure situations, situations like presenting in a meeting or making a presentation at a conference or talking with their boss or in a conference call where it just doesn't come out right. So share uh, this, this uh, live streaming event with uh, those folks because I think it will be extremely helpful. Now, what are we going to do today and for the next several weeks? We're going to be looking at my little guidebook called Don't Try to Stop Stuttering, Replace It. Don't Try to Stop Stuttering, Replace It. So today, we're essentially going to start out clarifying the difference between my approach, that is a replacement approach or a replacement strategy, with a traditional approach, which is more of a treatment strategy, a treatment approach. So what's the difference? What's the difference? Well, the traditional approach says that if you stutter, if you stammer, right, that this we define as a disfluency. It's a speech disfluency. And it is something that we can treat through various methods. right? Uh, generally, when you are treated, you're going to go to a licensed speech therapist. And they're going to help you through a, a, a variety of different methods, helping you with breathing, helping you with articulation, learning to pronounce your words, helping you with elongating, stretching, or extending your words, and a variety of other uh, methods that actually can work quite well for many people, obviously. There are some other programs that you'll see out there on the web uh, of people that have taken some of those methodologies, breathing, articulation, um, extending words, you know, things like that. So there are various programs out there where people have taken one of those and focused on it and developed an entire program around that. You'll also see uh, devices out there that you can wear that delay the auditory feedback that you're receiving and those can also help people to, to speak more fluently. But for many people, that's not enough. For many people, it works for a little while and then it stops. For many people, or for some people, it doesn't work at all. And for some people, it actually works quite well. Why is my approach different than that traditional approach? My approach says that what we're doing is we're not going to try to treat your current way of speaking, right? We are going to focus primarily on replacing it. We're going to focus on replacing it. And by replacing it, we mean helping you create a brand new speaking style, a brand new speaking style. Now, let me give you an example, something that you can relate to. Creating a brand new speaking style is almost, if not virtually the same, as learning a new language. Okay? It's almost, if not virtually the same, as learning a new language. So how does one learn a new language? Well, first of all, there's a situation that we need to explain about learning a new language. You generally already have one language that you're speaking, right? It's your primary language, your mother tongue, whatever that is. So you have this language that you're currently speaking, but you really want to learn and speak completely fluently this new language, right? And let's just pretend that you don't want to speak the old language any longer, that you, for one reason or another you just have no need for the current language. You only want to speak the new language. How do you do it? How do you do it? Well, you immerse yourself. You immerse yourself in the new language. 
And virtually anyone, no matter how young or old, can learn a new language. Okay? Virtually anyone. Again, unless you have some kind of brain damage that would not allow you to learn certain things like learning a new language. And even people who have brain damage are capable of still learning new things because the brain is able to rewire itself, to reroute certain functionalities, to redirect it to other areas of the brain that then can take over the function of the damaged area. Okay? So often people that have brain damage are able to rewire their brain so that they can still learn things. Okay? So, what we're talking about then in terms of learning a new language is we're talking about literally replacing the old language. We're talking about immersing yourself in the new language so that you see it, you hear it, you think about it, you dream in the new language, you're watching it, you're listening to it, you are maybe reading it, you're writing it, you are practicing using this new language. And you've completely immersed yourself so that that's your entire world, this new language. And we know that immersion courses are some of the best ways and the fastest ways, the most effective ways to uh, become completely fluent in a new language when you immerse yourself. I know this personally because I've gone through immersion courses and I've immersed myself by saying I want to go spend I spent one time eight weeks in a Latin American country, and within a couple of weeks, two to three weeks, uh, I was fairly fluent. And even now, if I go and I spend a couple of weeks just speaking Spanish, I'm going to become quite fluent. Maybe not as fluent as I would like, but I'll become pretty fluent just by immersing myself. You actually start to dream and think in that other language. Well. Now, this, this is the amazing thing, right? I'm very excited about this, can you tell? That in learning a new speaking style, it's almost exactly alike. You have to immerse yourself in what? In this new style of speaking. So what does that mean for you? What does that mean? And what does that have to do with these two approaches to dealing with stuttering and stammering? All right. My approach is to replace your current way of speaking we're saying this is very similar, if not exactly like, learning a new language and really no longer speaking the old language. I'm saying it's almost exactly like that. So how do we learn this new language to the point where we no longer need the old language? We immerse ourselves in the new language. And how do we do that? You watch, you listen, you read, you write, you practice, you think about the new language, and that's it. Right? You don't think about watch. You don't think about not speaking the old language, right? You don't think about, you know, I really don't want to speak English anymore. I, so in this situation, I don't want to speak in English. I want to speak in Spanish. Right? I don't want to speak in English. I want to speak. No. You don't think about what you don't want to do. You only think about the new language. You think about, okay, how do I say this in the new language? How do I think this in the new language? And then you do it, you practice it, you learn it, you do it. Does that make sense? So in developing a new speaking style, what I call a proactive speaking style, what you're going to do is you're going to focus on the skills necessary, the elements of this new speaking style. You don't focus on the elements of the old speaking style. You don't focus on not stuttering, right? You don't focus on the disfluency. You don't focus on, I hope I don't get nervous. I hope I don't get stuck. I hope I don't stutter in this situation. You only focus on the way that you want to speak, just like a new language. Does this make sense? So this is a kind of a new approach to dealing with stuttering and stammering. Another major difference that you're going to see is for those of you that need to go beyond just not stuttering. Okay? So some people just want to get to the place where they don't stutter, where they can say their names, and they can answer phones, and they can order food, and so forth and so forth. But other people need to go beyond that. <laughs> you want to be able to do well when you're at work and you're making a presentation. 
you want to be able to answer the phone and speak well, or if you need to do phone conferences or video conferences, you want to be able to do that well. You want to be able to present your ideas and information at work or at school well. Okay, So you want to be able to present and project yourself as the intelligent person that you are. Okay, Because if you're not able to communicate that, if you're not able to articulate that, then what is happening is people are not able to experience your knowledge and your expertise and the true you, the real you. Okay, So what you are going to need to be able to do is to express yourself in such a way that people can feel and experience your knowledge. They can feel and experience the information that you have to share. And how do we do that? Well, we do that through the way that we communicate. And one of, one of the primary ways that we communicate is through our speech. So, by using a replacement approach, we're not just bringing you up to a basic level, a basic level of just being able to not stutter. We're actually taking you beyond the basic level so that you become an excellent speaker. And you've probably heard me say this. You become a better than average speaker, better than an average presenter and communicator. The skills that you learn in my approach, in the Pro 90D approach or proactive speaking, are skills that if you go out and you look and you watch people on news, you watch actors, you watch people that speak well, you're going to see them using some, all of the same skills that I will be teaching you, or that you are learning. Right? You're going to see them using all of these skills. Now they may do it in different ways, but they'll be using the same skills that I'm teaching you. So this isn't treatment, right? This is replacement. And this is helping you replace your current speaking style with one that is more powerful, with one that projects confidence, with one that allows you to communicate in such a way that when you speak, people listen, that people enjoy listening to you, that people enjoy learning from you, they enjoy sharing things with you. Does that make sense? So the reason that this approach is so important and the reason that I'm walking through this with you is because if you've been used to reading things or to watching or listening or even working with people who are kind of working with you using a traditional approach, if that's what you've been used to, then this may be or sound a little foreign to you. And you may say, well, who is this guy? He's not a licensed speech therapist. What does he know about uh, treating people who stutter? Well, I don't know anything about treating people who stutter. What I do know is I know how to help you replace your current way of speaking with a newer, more smoother, fluent, and confident way of speaking. How do I know this? I did it myself, but that's not enough. Yeah, sure, one person can do it, right? One person can do a lot of things. It doesn't mean other people can do it. So just because I did it myself, it's not enough. It's important, and I'll tell you why, but it's not enough. But I've duplicated it with other people. And you can read the testimonies, you can watch the videos on my website, and it lasts. It lasts as long as that person continues to use their new speaking style. And the longer they do it, the more automatic it becomes, just like a new language. Right? So if you learn a new language, and you use that new language, all of a sudden you don't have to use as much brain power to think about it, to use it. It just comes automatically. But if you stop using it, then what happens? Then whatever your old language is, right, the one you started with, now starts to become more dominant again and you start using the old language that you used to speak, if you will. In our case we're talking about you start using the old speaking style. Okay, so. Will you have to do exercises for the rest of your life in order to use the new speaking style? No, you won't have to do exercises, but you will need to continue to speak. Right? You'll need to put yourself out there in situations where you're constantly speaking and using the new speaking style. Because the more you do it, 
the more fluent you become at it, the more natural you become at it. Does that make sense? Right? So no, you're not going to have to memorize videos and watch videos and, and practice and work, unless you want to become better and better, in which case there are many great programs out there to help you improve your speaking skills, okay? not just mine, but many, many other programs. Then you use those and you continue to improve your speaking skills. But what I'm trying to do is to help you develop a brand new speaking style. So there's a saying that says, uh, cells that fire together, wire together. Neurons that fire together, wire together. And what that simply means is that when two cells begin to connect, they begin to communicate with each other. And if they continue to communicate with each other in the same way, using the same pattern, that they begin to establish a permanent relationship. So it's just like you meet someone. The first time you meet them, you talk to them, you get to know them, right? And then let's say you go away and you come back. And let's say you come back a month later. Well, your relationship is not going to be as strong as it would have been had you talked to them every single day. And you just really got into some deep conversations, right? And you made a connection with them, and you communicated with them every single day until you established a strong relationship where you and this person now can work together, you almost think alike, you can anticipate what the other person's gonna say and do because you've gotten to know them, you've established what? A strong connection, which only happens when you spend time with the other person. It's the same thing with your, with your brain cells, with your neurons. The more time they spend together, the more they're able to communicate efficiently and effectively together. The less time they spend together, the less they'll be able to communicate efficiently and effectively. How does this translate into your activity, into this approach? This says that if you model someone, if you find someone, and we'll talk about this later, I'm just kind of giving you a preview, but I want to explain why this approach is different, why it's important, that if you model someone that speaks the way you want to speak, and you continue to practice speaking in that way, not just presentations, but also conversations, you continue to force yourself to, i got to speak this way. And it's hard, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of attention, right? But if you do it, what's happening is, those neurons, those brain cells, are developing a relationship. Okay, they're developing a relationship. So you have to spend a lot of time, especially during the initial stages, you have to spend a lot of time together. You have to spend a lot of time practicing those behaviors over and over so that what? They can establish that strong relationship. Now once they've established it, once they've established it, then it's a lot easier. Then the brain doesn't have to use as much energy to keep it going. And it's just like anything. You learn, it takes a lot of energy to initially learn it, but once you've learned it, it becomes automatic. It's called automaticity. It becomes automatic. It becomes a habit. That's what the replacement approach is all about. It's about helping you replace your old style with a brand new style. And sure, we do use some of the same techniques and the same strategies that traditional approaches use, but we also add to it a psychological or mental element because speaking well is not just a physical action, it's also mental. It's also a way that we think, right? So we add a mental aspect to that and we use modeling, okay? And we use a variety of other techniques to help you speak well. All right, so I hope that this was helpful. I'm, I'm going to wrap it up because I really try to hold this to around 20 minutes. Sometimes we go a little over. But I hope that the explanation of this approach is helpful for you. I'd like for you to go ahead and get the guide. Um, I believe it's only $4.99. You can get it from my website or you can get it from Amazon, whichever one you want. I'm going to provide the links for you today. And you can go ahead and grab that because if you are using this approach, it's really important for you to know what it is, what it's about, 
why I've designed it this way and why it absolutely works. It's not a matter of, well, I don't know if this will really work for me. Can you learn? Can you learn a new skill? Could you learn a new language if you wanted to? Could you develop a new habit? If you can, this will work for you. It's, it's not a matter of, will it work? It might not work. I'm not sure. I tried. It will work. It will work 100%. It's only a matter of, do you stick with it, right? Do you do the things that I'm asking you to do, and do you stick with it until it works? There's been people that have stuck with it 30 days and 30 days and more. Didn't really see any results, and then all of a sudden, 60 days out, bam, they see results. So the only question is not whether or not it's going to work. It's how long you're going to stick with it until those nerve cells have developed that relationship to make it work. Okay. Thank you very much. Please leave your comments. Um, ask me any questions that you want. Check out my website. The app is coming. Really excited about it. And look forward to seeing you next Wednesday as we continue to work through this approach. Okay, As we continue to work through this guidebook, don't try to stop stuttering. Replace it. So I'll see you then.